Hello everyone, I am Asra. I am a super final year student pursuing applied geology. Uh, I was a summer intern this year at Goldman Sachs. Yeah. Hey everyone, I am Rana Kasnani, a final year computer science undergrad. And this summer I interned at Goldman Sachs and I have been offered a full time role there now. Uh, okay, so the work profile that we were selected for was summer analyst, which is similar to the role of software development intern. Uh, so, uh, in the internship, you are assigned a project that you have to work for in a span of 10 weeks under the guidance of a mentor. Uh, there are deadlines to look for and you have to report your progress timely to the manager. Uh, at towards the end of your internship, there is a final presentation where, wherein you need to showcase the entire work that you did uh, throughout the span of your internship. Yeah. Okay, so talking about the resume, um, like obviously we have projects in your resume and text, uh, text stack in the resume as well. You also need to talk about your PORs. So in the project, I'd say try to make some good projects, uh, develop something good because like for me in my interview, the interviewer actually ended up asking me about a project that I had worked on. So I had one DSA question and one question like the total other discussion was on my project and obviously uh, your tech stack if it's diverse it's better like otherwise it would show that you are limited to just this language but yeah you you need to be diverse in your tech stack and yeah PRs do play a positive role in your resume so like make a well-rounded resume showcasing that you are good at academics you are good at development you are good at competitive programming you know your data structures I guess that's it anything you would like to add uh, one thing I would add, uh, like to add is that do not mention anything in your resume that you won't be able to explain later. Uh, so be thorough with everything. Mention the skills that are relevant to the position you're applying for. Uh, also, it would be great if you just get your resume reviewed by batchmates and seniors before applying. Uh, that actually helps a lot. Okay, so uh, while preparing for interviews, it slightly differs uh, depending on the company. But generally speaking, the technical interview comprises of questions from DS Algo, uh, CS Fundamentals and your projects. Uh, so for, D, uh, for DS Algo, there's a list of top interview questions on interview bit uh, as well as on lead code. Also, you can solve the previous year questions uh, of the specific company that you are appearing for. That is very helpful. For... Uh, the CS fundamentals that are OOPS, OS and DBMS, I refer to the articles on GFG, they are very useful. Uh, and uh, projects that, that we mentioned before that uh, you, are you should be very thorough with the project because uh, for me, uh, the second round was composed of entirely talking about my resume and the project. So make sure you are uh, thorough with that. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll add to that. Yeah. Um, so for DSA you can also check out uh, 450 DSA and do lead code and also giving contests is very important because uh, you'll in the coding round you will have a time limit so you you need to practice solving questions in that time bound manner so giving contests on platforms like code forces code chef that add coder this might help help you in your inter, uh, in your coding rounds yeah Okay, so I think all of these three play a very important role. Like without competitive programming, like I just mentioned, you'll not be able to crack the coding rounds. Without data structures and algorithms, uh, interviews will be very difficult. And one more thing, like competitive programming and data structures and algorithm go hand in hand. So if you know one thing, you'll already be knowing the other. And um, so development, it's also very important because otherwise you'll not have projects to showcase. So you need to in in the in the organization, you'll not. Be doing competitive programming you'll be using your data structures and doing the development aspect so you need to um, like have some background knowledge in development yep anything you'd like to add uh, 
ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू मी शुड स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन योर सेकेंड ईयर सिंस आई एम अ फाइव ईयर स्टूडेंट आई स्टार्टेड अ बिट लेट बिकॉज आई हैव माई इंटर्नशिप सीजन इन माई फोर्थ ईयर टॉकिंग अबाउट द टॉपिक्स ऑब्वियसली डी एस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दैट टू बिगेन विथ यू कैन रेफर टू द वीडियो लेक्चर्स देर आर कपल ऑफ दैम ऑन यूट्यूब वेरी यूजफुल एंड क्वाइट पॉपुलर एज वेल एंड ऑल्सो एज रॉनक सेड यू कैन यू शुड रिलाई अपॉन एनी ऑफ द डी एस ए शीट्स अवेलेबल लाइक दे हैव अ दे हैव वास्ट नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्राम ईजी टू हार्ड लेवल सो दे आर ऑल्सो वेरी गुड फॉर वेन यू आर रिवाइजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट सो वन थिंग इज दैट एंड Yeah. So, um, in addition to that, you should also prepare operating systems and object-oriented programming, because from an intern they at least expect that you know object-oriented design. So you can maybe practice uh, building some basic systems based on object-oriented design. Because in my in the third or fi- round of my interview, they ended up asking me to design a, a system based on object-oriented design. And yeah, OS fundamentals and OOPS fundamentals they play a very crucial role in your uh, interview because you they. might end up asking polymorphism or something down those lines so prepare your csc fundamentals as well up advice for that uh, all i would like to say is that uh, set short term targets and daily goals rather than long uh, long term ones and focus on them work on them uh, and uh, when you prioritize your tasks you 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 are tend you tend to get more efficient and organized so uh, look for what's important at the time and work accordingly i'll just start to that and the summer right before the internship season that's very important so make sure that you don't waste any time in that and you you need to be focused about your internship preparation during that time span yeah so in the interview there is a very high chance that the interviewer pose a difficult question to you just to test your temperament but you need to remain calm and you don't need to panic uh basically you need to speak your mind out and it should be a healthy discussion with between you and the interviewer and there is a pretty high chance that if you are discussing with the interviewer he might end up giving you a nudge in the right direction so then you can build up on that so it should be a discussion it should not be that only you are speaking or it's just the interviewer speaking yeah anything you would like to add no just that uh, try not to remain silent for a long time like even if you are thinking think aloud uh, and yeah keep asking questions uh, it there might be a chance that you get clues while discussing with the interviewer and just stay confident and composed that's it so um i remember like when when we got into gs on day one they told us that the selection rate was about 0.8% but yeah if you work hard enough then it's it's a piece of cake to get into big companies like this you just need to uh, be good with uh, your computer programming your development skills and your data structures and algorithms yep and also focus on academics because gpa might end up mattering in some some companies yeah Yeah, so I was a part of trading team there. My project was basically migration of a fixed engine from one platform to another. Now, uh, a fixed engine in simple words is the communicator between any two financial parties of a uh, trading market. Uh, so that was the project. Uh, the tech stack was new to me, so it took me a while to get familiar with the language and the code base. Uh, so I got to learn a lot from this project. Uh, apart from that uh, the work culture is highly professional you get to connect with uh, employees across different offices uh, so yeah just um, work efficiently and uh, as gs emphasizes on networking a lot so interact with as many people as you can especially uh, your team members okay so like while in the company i'd say uh, you should not primarily focus on converting your internship into ppo that should be a indirect outcome of your work over there you need to work hard and like you need to be open like in gs networking was very important so uh, you should keep everyone in loop your manager your mentor your buddy everyone should be knowing what you are doing you should give them suggestions on their work you should know what people around you are doing and i'd say like 
keep them in loop otherwise they might end up setting some expectations which you might not be able to meet and work work with your like you can set your own targets everyone is fine with that but at least make sure that you you are able to uh, you know um, complete your work on time and i'd say yeah just give your best pp would all, um, come itself yeah i guess Okay, so although PORs don't have a very crucial role in the selection process uh, as far as SD position is concerned, but they are very important for your personal development. Like they build your soft skills, which is obviously very important uh, even when you are appearing for the interviews. Uh, so PORs help a lot. And uh, when you, you know, uh, when you are occupied in any of the PORs in your college life, they have a, a positive impact in your professional journey as well. So they might not have a short term impact, uh, but they have a long term impact for sure. Add to that, <coughs> even in companies, you like. Uh, you'll be working in teams, right? And so you can't just go solo. So when you are in clubs and when you have PORs, obviously they show that you have leadership skills and you can communicate your idea as well. So yeah, it shows that you are a team player rather than being a lone wolf. So yeah, that helps. What are the most effective ways <coughs> to focus on personal development, and how do these efforts enhance our overall? career prospects uh for personal development that's uh, what one thing that i always do is uh, i don't compete from uh, others like i just compete from myself and it's basically that i try to be better than what i was yesterday and i set my own targets and i try to finish them on time and if i'm not able to finish them on time i i ponder upon why why, why i was not able to do that and then i try to improve the next time yeah I think you'd like to add to that. So your question was how to uh, like develop right these soft skills. So uh, yeah, one thing is that being involved in any of the college clubs helps a lot, surely. Also, simply being interactive uh, with throughout your college life, like uh, meet more and more people, and spare time for your hobbies. Also, just uh, try to learn one thing or the other. Don't waste time. So, be it internship season or placement season, you get through a lot of rejections one after the other, and finally, that one offer is all that matters. So, don't lose hope in between. Try to remain composed and be efficient. Uh, lastly, uh, try to seek guidance from your seniors. Like that is very important. So, yeah. Start with that. Yep, just like she said, you don't need to panic uh, because you might face some reject rejections, but that does not mean that you you need to mess up your upcoming interviews. You you need to remain confident throughout the season, and even in case you don't get an on-campus internship, quite a lot of uh, companies open up an off-campus. You can apply over there, and it's like if we look at just day zero, you might face a lot of rejections in day zero, but good companies are also there in day one. Then even after day one, companies still come in staggered fashion. So yeah, you need to remain calm. And confident about yourself and just be patient you'll you'll land up somewhere nice yeah i guess that's it yeah so all the best everyone yeah <laughs>